Hi, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Chad Jasmine, inventor of Stand Perfect, and I am right now on my way to the Ponte Vedra Athletic Association Little League T-Ball Coaches Clinic, where I, Chad Jasmine, inventor of Stand Perfect, am presenting to these eight coaches. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is day 59 of the Stand Perfect 90 Day Superhuman Body Transformation Challenge and I am pumped because I get to present to these coaches and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly explain that I invented this incredible product that is going to save them so much time and make their practice time so much more efficient. I'm gonna give each one of these coaches a Stand Perfect Junior and I'm gonna tell them exactly how it works. I'm gonna get their name, their phone number, and their email and I'm gonna keep them posted on all the Stand Perfect news that will be coming up throughout the baseball season. And then I'm going to pitch to the commissioner of this league if I can throw up a huge banner on the outfield fence that says stand perfect standperfect.com with a picture with a beautiful picture of my incredible invention I am so excited right now wish me luck I am on my way and hopefully I can get somebody at this meeting to film me presenting in front of these coaches that would be incredible because then I would be uh complete this video this vlog would be amazing if that's the case all right ladies and gentlemen remember stand perfect stand perfect stand perfect so you guys are mostly t-ball coaches right yep. Mm -hmm. yep okay well um first of all thank you guys for coaching i mean i've coached now my kid in winter and summer basketball for five seasons in a row and i know that when you volunteer to coach you're you're doing a lot of work so Basically, I was inspired. My name's Chad Jasmine. I um, spent the last 18 months um, inventing a product, basically, because my kid's five now, but when he was two and three, I was trying to show him how to hit a baseball or a golf ball. And it, basically, this invention of mine was inspired by him completely. It's called Stand Perfect. This is Stand Perfect Junior. They come in pairs just like this. They contour to any surface. You throw them down in a batter's box and boom, your, your kid finds a stance. Now, for instance, in baseball, you can throw one down in the right-handed box and one down in the left-handed box just for their back foot, just so they, obviously, you want the kid's shoe to be on the whole surface and not touching this thing. But they stay in place, they have these little teeth right on the bottom to keep them in place, so they stay in place good on the dirt. You just kind of lock them in a little bit. And then boom, as a coach, you know, the reason why I made it is just for efficiency. I was constantly going back and forth to the box, readjusting my kid's feet because he'd stand with his belly button facing me and I'd, I'd be going, no, dude, come on, man, you got every feet like this. So basically I went to Dick's to try and find this thing. And they go, we don't know what you're talking about. Then I went online, tried to find it. Then I went on the patent, US Trade and Patent Office, tried to find it, nothing there. So I go, wow, what a great opportunity to try and to invent something. So it works awesome for golf too. Works great for baseball t-ball and so I showed it to golfer Fred Funk who's a, who's a client of mine because he I, I'm a massage therapist I've owned the Wright Center of Advanced Body Work and, and Massage in Ponte Vedra for 20 years and Fred is my client and so I showed it to him and he goes dude that's awesome you gotta invent one for the pros and I'm like Fred come on <laughs> the pros he goes no man I want to putt with it and so what he meant by that so I did I made this pro model Stand Perfect Pro so if you're on the practice putting green and you're rolling some putts and if you have this in your bag, you can step out of it and you can, it's like practicing with a caddy. You can see, oh wow, no wonder I was rolling everything right. You know, and you make slight adjustments. So these little, this right angle aiming device, I'm working on an app right now that measures the exact angle of each foot, the exact distance each foot is away from each other. So that's a different thing. You guys are t-ball coaches. It's totally the reason and my inspiration is for you guys. So as a gift to you and thank you for volunteering your time I'm gonna give you each a pair I'll, I'll give you guys all a set and um, if you you know just throw it in your equipment bag and then my kid is also going to be playing for one of you guys his name's Carlos Jasmine and uh, he's never played baseball before but he's, he's pretty good because I think it's pretty good because of this thing so I have this little list here of um, name phone number and email and then you can just come in here and uh, I think there's eight coaches, is that right, Craig? Seven. Seven, okay. Yeah. And come in here and grab, grab, you a, grab you a set. And there, I have my website, which is scanperfect.com. 
And I have videos on there. Fred Funk has been so kind to make some videos with me, and I have a story of the whole invention and how it happened. And I've also been doing a daily vlog to try and create some, uh, you know, just visibility and increase my SEO. And I'm a Ponte Vedra guy. I, I'm sort of just a dad who invented something, and now I've gone from inventor guy to marketing guy, and it's like the hardest thing in the world. <laughs> like, it's like, wow, now who do I sell this to? But you guys are the people I want to have it, because, you know, parents will come pick their kids up at practice and go, what are those? And you go, oh, it's Stan Perfect. Go to stanperfect.com and get you one for $39.95, and then boom, you're in. And, and I'm, I'm happy about it, and yeah, hopefully I helped you guys out a little bit. It really worked because I came to the evaluation two Sundays ago and all the kids were getting up there. And by the third batter, I, I think it was Matt at the at home plate or whoever was pitching, he, he kept going, no, he grabbing him by the waist and going, no, you stand here. And, and these kids have no idea what sports are at all. So it's just a way for a kid to go, oh, to get their own proper and repeatable stance all by themselves. And it's just a time saver. And it's just it's just a tool, an extra tool for you guys to have. So it, it's my honor to give you guys a set. Thank you so much for letting me present. And I appreciate to meeting all of you and talking to you. And my kid, like I said, he's going to be playing in the league this year. And I'm excited about that. So I'll see you all around. And you know, we'll have a blast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure thing. Matt? He Thanks, still doesn't Frank. know yet on team. What? He doesn't know what team he's. Yeah, I don't know what you team. Have I, I haven't been contacted. <laughs> Is he on your team? Yep. Awesome, man. Up. What's your name? Eric. Eric. I'm oh, right. Eric's been traveling. Yeah, Ooh. I've been. I've been everywhere. That's all good. So, I, 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 slow. Were you at the evaluation? Just got it. Were you at the evaluation? No. no okay. Out of town. Well, I think I think my kid's gonna be. He'll contribute. I think he'll get some base knocks. <laughs> he, looked, he looked pretty good in, in the little uh, evaluation. I was excited. I used to play baseball, but I, I never turned him on to it. He's actually a really good basketball player for his, for his age. He's kind of a little, little freak. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thanks, guys. Do, 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 do you mind giving me your name yeah. and number and sure. email address yeah, and sure. just casually doing that? And as thank you. Craig, I Thank appreciate you. It so I'm still much. recording, so watch what you say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Thanks, man. I Thank you. It. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for the opportunity. So, as you can see, folks, today was an incredible night for Stan Perfect, and I'm so thrilled about it. I got to present to uh, the T-ball coaches. I got to give them all a set of Stan Perfects. They were all into it. They all thought it was totally cool. But I'll tell you what the coolest part about this whole thing was. After I got done talking, a gentleman arrived, and a uh, former professional baseball player, Mr. Richard Lucas, showed up, who is involved with the league and involved with youth baseball, and has incredible plans for Jacksonville baseball to bring it to a brand new level. And this guy was so captivating and so charismatic, and when he spoke, I was just like, wow, I hope he doesn't mind if I film some of this. So I filmed him talking. And uh, it was awesome. I didn't film a whole lot because I wasn't sure if it was okay. But he was excellent. And oh my God, the knowledge that he had about baseball. And you could just tell that this guy was a baseball player and knew so much about it. So that was cool. And then the coolest part of the whole night was when we got done and he got done talking and the coaches got together. I walked up and I shook hands with um, Rich Lucas, the baseball player. And... Um, and he just fully got it. I showed him the stand perfect, and he's like, man, dude, I see it. He, he understands the vision, and we're going to be working together in the future. And the, just the connections that were made tonight were so fantastic. And check this out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a little bit now of uh, Richard, Richard Lucas talking, and this guy is awesome. So check him out, and he'll be in future stand perfect uh, videos and vlogs and he's going to make some videos of him him using the the tool himself and um, teaching with it and man he's part of the Stan Perfect family now so Richard thank you man <laughs> so much dude it was awesome tonight I appreciate it so much remember people be brave and be nice first I'm going to close this vlog with a little bit of Richard talking and uh, you'll see more of him coming up all right thank you so much have a good night Parents get off work six o'clock, seven. Some might be lucky enough to get off four or five. Practice starts at six, you got them for two hours. Eight o'clock, they get home, 
They might have homework to do, another hour. Now it's the parents' time, nine o'clock. They gotta be to bed by 10, 10, 30. So we're gonna have most of the time with these kids. So we gotta make sure we set a very good example, especially at four or five, six years old, we gotta set a very good example for these kids because what they learn now is gonna stick with them forever. That's what they are gonna be talking about. I still remember when I played, when I was four and five at T-ball at Lake Lucina, my coach, Coach Lee, I had one bat. It was an all white TPS with a black label in the middle. I still remember. Kids will remember this from the rest of their lives. Kids gonna tell stories about this when they get older. When they get our age, they gonna tell stories to their friends. They might have, sitting at the sitting at the bar having a drink. Oh man, you remember T ball? We had Coach Michael, Coach Will, Coach Les, whatever, whoever it is. They gonna be having a drink, telling stories about this. So this is a time to make a huge impact on these kids' lives for the rest of their lives. So we gotta make sure that these kids are learning, building confidence, and also having fun at the same time. And we, as coaches, are gonna be the one under all the pressure. We could be great coaches and have a bad team. Somebody's, it's gonna be at least two, three people to say, oh, that guy's a terrible coach. Look, his team only won one game this season. But at the end of the season, these kids are, oh, mom, I can't wait. When we playing next season? We, where's coach such such going? Oh, let's play there. They gonna to wanna to follow you. And then that team that might've won one game the year before, they build that camaraderie up, that chemistry up, Coaches, players, and parents alike, all together, they just move up, move up, move up. Before you know it, you got a team that's beating everybody out here. Kansas City Royals, for instance, when they won the World Series, nobody saw that coming. That's how I look at it. Because if I got the worst player on my team coming out here every day, practicing hard, sitting in the dugout, probably sitting in the dugout to start the game, but he's into the game and he cares about what's happening in the game, when that kid comes in, He's going to give 100% because he's already involved in the game. He might not be on the field or might not be in the batter's box, but he's going to be involved in the game from the first pitch to the last pitch. So when he gets out there, he's excited. He's not saying, oh, it's my turn to play now. All the good kids are out. You see what I'm saying? It's a different mindset. And if he has that experience saying, oh, coach put me in for here to hit, and he wanted me to get a base hit, coach put me in, listen, and, and he's excited about that, that's the kids that come back. Those are the kids that get better and better and better. You see this kid, you see a kid. Little Mikey might be the baddest, the worst kid on the team. By the end of the season, Mikey might be starting. You never know. He might, somebody might get hurt, somebody might move out of town, somebody might have another, something they have to do that weekend, and Mikey gets a chance to play, and he's excited to play, because he loves the game, and he loves how you taught him the game. He's gonna get out there, and he might surprise everybody in the park. they like, oh, how did he get that hit? Oh, Mikey got that hit? Before long, before you know it, everybody's saying it every day, every game. How did he do that? How did he do that? How did he do that? Because he loves the game. You taught him the game. You taught him to love it. You taught him to take pride in what he does. And you told him what you expect from him from the beginning. 